Look at the congratulations first of all. It's a tough one, isn't it? A battle. Yeah, it was a battle, wasn't it? You know, or it turned into a battle. Mm. I think, um, which pleased me because you know we, we talked about it when I first came into the building about clean sheets and keeping mm. them. I think you know the until we come in, I think there were four clean sheets, mm. and now we've sort of kept three and eight games, and that's that's a pleasing stat for me because you know I talk quite a lot of how I want the games mm. to be played and I want it to be uh, how we move the ball around the pitch, but the character and the resilience the lads showed today to, to dig in and, and not accept um, them to score a goal was good and, and you know you win football matches if you keep clean sheets yeah I, mean, I was just saying to Platty there we'd have lost that game honestly a few months ago we were conceding for fun mm. from corner kicks and he was saying he just had a feeling out there that you didn't want to didn't want to let them get anywhere near the goal I mean you know you've got to when you're building a project that we are you've got to look at the short term and the short term has been to bring in you know, experience because mm. when 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 the muck and bullets are flying, um, sometimes young players can go under. Mm. But I think the spine of the team, certainly when Platy was on at the end, you've got Noakes, you've got Pabs, um, mm. you've got Tommy Miller, um, and you've got a very good spine of a mm. team to, to deal with that um, Procky. So you've got good leaders yeah. out there while you're on the pitch, while while it's getting thrown in, they're throwing artillery up and a bit. You know, mm. they let him rip at you. It's, you know, you've got to have that leadership, and we, we had that on the pitch. So I was very comfy in, in uh, you know, in defending certain set players mm. and, and set player positions. Take us through the winning goal, then. It's a good finish. Oh, it's a be beautiful ball, wasn't it? Mm. You know, it was. Uh, Grand, I thought it? some of the creativity for staff uh, mm. was outstanding. The first 20, 30 minutes, um, apart from a killer edge, um, you know. When I look at the, the, the recycling of the ball and the work of the ball and the tempo of the ball, mm. you know, to play one touch on that pitch, that takes mm. bravery, that, that mm. takes courage. And um, I enjoyed the first 30 minutes. The, the, you know, the last 60 minutes were just a battle and a mm. digging, and we had to do that. So we've shown, shown two sides of what we can do. Yeah. And, uh, and it's progression. I'm seeing a side progress, and, and that's what I wanted to keep seeing as we build this project. To the words of to an extent, I mean, how hard is it on that pitch, which is bob you know, bobbling all over the place, to keep that courage, to keep doing what you want to well, do? Well, you know, a possession based player, people talk about his technical detail mm. and, and, and you know, how he looks good on the ball, he looks good on the eye. The biggest thing from a possession based player is what's inside him, how brave he is, how courageous he is, mm. what his conviction is, what his decision making is. And uh, you see notes right to the end, he will mm. just keep getting the ball, receiving the ball, wanting the ball. Mm. And uh, and it is difficult, there's no doubt about it, but um, you know, we've we've managed to ride a bit of a storm and um, you know, I've been delighted with the, with the actual application from the lads. I mean if that pitch goes worse it's gonna get harder each week, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. But again, you know, these, these, the long-term vision was to try and get a football team on the pitch yeah. that uh, that could, you know, we could design and, and we could design wins against teams. Um, I'll keep bringing that possession-based player in to, to do that, and uh, you know, the short-term fixes, winning football matches, uh, and the next season there is a plan in place to get the pitch done. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And I think next season, if we can keep adding to what we've already got. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. The new boys played a big part. How do you think they did? Um, well, John Louis gives you pace. He, he's mm. direct. Uh, he stretches teams, and um, yeah, he put a, a big shift into mm. to certainly the first half. Um, so he's a good player. He's, he's just a player that yeah. wants to be on the ball, gets on the ball, and he can go past players, which is a great skill for a centre midfield player. It gives an opportunity to attack central, mm. which was important for me. Um, and and he can also find and spot a pass and. Uh, and Platt is something different, you know, I, I knew what I would do when I brought Clive Platt in. Uh, he gives us a different option, he gives us a different tool out of the tool bag and he's someone who just, he knows his way around the football pitch. And I think you've seen, you know, people say about Clive's goal record, well other players can score from, you know, he's had two headers there where he's, he's, he's come across on the diagonal. If we're a bit more proactive in our movement then we score from them. So you get goals off of Clive Platt if he's not scoring them. Yeah, and he was saying he's not fully fit yet as well. Some of his problems before. Well, again, you know, Clive Platt, he, he, I spoke to him probably five weeks ago and, and he said, Flick, I've got to go and, um, down to St George's. He invested yeah. it himself. Yeah. He, he went and paid for it himself to get, yeah, to get down to St George's. He had two weeks down there, so I was speaking to him daily. And uh, that's why, you know, I was, the move was about five weeks old. You know, I was trying to get him in about five weeks ago, but he wasn't fit. And he, you know, he'll get there. He'll get yeah. up to that speed and... and and get up to that, uh, up to that tempo of the football match. Tutty's the crowd pleasing when he drops that shoulder. You're thinking, 
you know, this look, he's just nice to watch on the eye, isn't he? He, he is, he is. And, and what I'm pleased about Tuts with it, he, he dug in as well, you know, mm. not played for a while uh, on an heavy pitch. And he kept going. Yeah. He kept going, and that pleased me. Like, that showed me his character today. Mm. His character's good, but yeah, he is. He's, 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 there's a silkiness to him, there's yeah. a style to him. Oh, and, 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 I, and I love that when he's gone past a player, he, he's always looking for that next option. Yeah. 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 And, you know, we've got to get players. I think Tuttle and Nards would be a fantastic oh. combination. You know, Nards would, would be able, his movement, Nards' his movement would be proactive to. Mm. To Totti, so you know, we've got a lot of options now. Let's